dividing two digit number step one decide where decide where the first digit in the quotient will be so decide where the first digit in the quotient will be so the number is 46 is going to divided by 2 so this is the dividend 46 is a dividend and so dividend and for 2 is a what 2 is a divisor 2 is a divisor okay 2 is a divisor so 46 is going to divide it by 2 so you will find the quotient so what is the first step decide where the first digit in the quotient will be so the quotient will be in this particular place that is what decide where the first digit in the quotient will be quotient uh, you have to decide where you are going to what uh, write the quotient this is in, th in this place you have to write a quotient so this is that means dividend here and this is the divisor you must write the top of the division you have to write the, as a quotient the first digit will be you have to write it here so where you are going to write that will be decide that you will be decide there are enough tens so see you have to compare the next next step is that is step one this is continue so step one first you have to decide where the quotient uh, first place is going to write that place you have to decide so 46 is a dividend and 2 is a divisor so you have to 46 is going to divide uh, 46 is going to divide by 46 is going to divide by 2 and decide where the first digit the uh, first digit in the quotient will be so quotient the first digit of the quotient where you are going to write that you will be decide then you have to write it in the particular place so where you are going to write the first digit of the quotient that you have to decide next the same first step there are enough tens you first you have to compare the dividend and divisor so four as a four tens and six ones and two as a two autosis 46 and is going to divided by 2 so 4 tens and 1 6 ones so i told you already you should not consider the place value you have to compare only the numbers so 4 compare with 2 okay 4 is a dividends and that is 4 tens 4 so you have to compare only the numbers 4 and 2 so you have to compare 4 is less than 2 4 is less than 2 so 4 is enough to 4 is enough to divide okay that means 4 is going to divide by 2 because it's 4 is a what 4 is sorry 4 is greater than not less than 4 is greater than 2 so 4 is greater than 2 so 4 is a bigger number and 2 is a lesser number so a 4 is enough to divide that means 4 is greater than 2 so 4 is going to divide by 2 that is what there are enough tens 4 is greater than 2 so so we start writing the quotient on the tens place so you have to write the uh, what quotient in the tens place only so that is what step 2 divide the tens write the quotient in the correct place that means you have to write it in the right and write the quotient in the tens place so that means so what you're going to write so 4 is going to divide by 2 that means that is 4 is going to divide by 2 the, uh, that is 2 into 2 because 2 into 2 only you can get what 4 so 2 into 2 you have to write 4 so 2 as a quotient this 2 is 2 this 2 as a quotient and you have to write it in the tens place okay that is what so 4 is going to divide by 2 so 2 into 2 that is 4 you have to write below the dividend so 2 as a quotient you have to write it in the what tens place tens place the first digit you must first digit means the first digit of the quotient you have to write it in the tens place you have to write it on the top of the top of the division so okay step three multiply the divisor and the quotient so that is what so this is a quotient and this is a divisor two into two what four so you are you are going to divide four minus four you can get what zero that is what so multiply the divisor and the quotient there is 2 into 2 is 4 so next step 4 i have done already subtract 4 minus 4 so this is step 3 2 into 2 and you have to write the 4 then 4 step 4 minus 4 is a subtraction this is a fourth step 4 minus 4 you can get 0 that is what and after that what is this step 5 compare the remainder with the divisor it should be smaller than the divisor 0 is less than 2 so 4 minus 4 so 46 is going to divided by 2 first you know that step 1 you know that you know that very well so where you are going to write the quotient that 
you have to decide then second step you have to compare the what dividend that is first digit is a tens digit four tens and four tens is going to divided by what two but you should consider only the numbers you should not consider the place value so four is greater than two so that is what you are going to what you are going to divide four is going to divided by two so two into two that is four that is what step two then step three multiply the quotient two into two then you have to write the four it is also the step two also comes again then you have to subtract that is subtract the fourth step four minus four you can get zero then fifth fifth step compare the remainder zero and two zero is a reminder and two is a divisor you have to compare these two numbers zero is less than two so what you're going to do you have to bring down the what bring down the number bring down the next digit what is the bring what is the next digit six ones so that digit you have to bring down that means six is going to come here we have seen already step one two step five the last one is step five compare so that is uh, i've told you 46 is going to divide by 2 so 2 into 2 4 and 4 minus 4 you can get 0 so 0 is going to compare with 2 so 0 is less than 2 that is called as compare that is 0 is a reminder and 2 is a divisor so 0 is a what reminder and 2 is a divisor okay 2 is a divisor so 0 compared with 2 so 0 is less than 2 so you can't divide so that is what you are going to bring down the next digit that is what step 6 bring down so the next digit the ones digit that is in the dividend okay so ones digit that is in the dividend ones digit is 6 so you have to bring down the 6 here so, so that is what bring down the what bring down the ones that is step 6 i will again I'll repeat step 6 bring down the ones the next digit that means what is the next digit in the dividend ones digit that is the what is the number in the ones place six so you have to bring down the six that is what step six that is what step six bring down the ones and step seven start over from the step two again you have to repeat the what you have to start with step you have to start from step two so divide the ones that is that is what is the number you have to bring down the what six six is a what ones place you have to bring down the six ones you have to bring down the six because four minus four you know that zero and after that what step five you just compare the zero and two and zero is less than two so you can't divide so what you have done you have to bring down the what bring down the six ones in the dividend so bring down the six then after that again you have to compare with six and two six is greater than two so that is what enough to divide so what you're going to do so start over from step two divide the ones so six is going to divide by two so you have to say the two table two ones are two two twos are four and two threes are six that is what because two into three six so three in the what quotient place that you have to write in the ones place this is tens and this is ones so in the ones place i have written three already so two into three you can get six so subtract six minus six you can get what zero again you have to compare zero and two so zero is what less than two so this is a reminder after that you can't you don't have numbers in the dividend you don't have any numbers in the dividend so you can't continue so this you have to that you have to be stop so from from this zero you have to what stop the division because there is no numbers in the dividend place so you have to stop after that you should not continue the division so six minus six zero so this is a reminder and this is a what quotient so that is what quotient is what two tens and three ones that is 23 and reminder is zero this is a right answer for the question but anyhow whether the answer is right or wrong you have to use the check method check method check means you have to use the formula that is quotient into divisor plus reminder you can get the dividend q mean quotient q mean quotient and d means divisor you have to multiply within the bracket then you have to add with the reminder you can get the dividend if you get the dividend means you can get the same dividend that means the quotient and reminder both are same quotient is what 23 and divisor is what that is quotient is 23 and divisor is 2 isn't it this divisor is 2 that is 46 this is a dividend you know that divi dend dividend and 2 is a divisor 
you know that very well so i have written quotient is 23 and divisor is 2 you have to multiply both numbers so 23 into 2 that is 23 23 into 2 so 2 3s are 6 and 2 2s two are 4 2 2s two are what 4 2 2s are 4 that is what so here 46 so 46 plus 0 you can get 46 that means the dividend will come okay the dividend will come that means whatever you find the quotient and reminder both are correct so quotient is 23 and reminder is 0 this is the right answer for the question so dividing two digit number is over but you have i know that you can see so many steps and so many processes there so this is a what proper uh, step by step method but it's of course the what long time process and time delaying process also but you must understand if this is an example while you're doing the sum i'm not going to what tell you the same uh, what uh, same method i'm not going to tell you or i'm not going to teach you um, the same method i'll tell you very simple method to what uh, to complete the sum and also you can get the answer very easily but at the same time it's a what it's not a time delaying process it's a very easy and simple process only i'm going to teach you but only for the fundamental the basic you must know this that is what i'm doing the long process division that is dividing two digit number step by step process okay thank you